Oh yeah. How you all doing? Thought I'd just give you a quick video and a quick shout of what we're up to. And show you a nice bit of nature just to get you just to ease you into the new year. Some birds and something else I've just seen. It's amazing. Now behind me, I've got about 20 flipping squirrels all having a barney at the moment. So forgive me if I'm a little bit dis distracted at times. But um We've come to set horns in the new forest to see in the new year. And uh, we're round on the select pitches, hard standing with electric. Very nice it is too. And uh, got here for five days, did my usual, thought I like this pitch, booked another five days. So we're gonna be having a mooch around this local area. See if I can go and see my old friends, the Dartford Warblers, and see what else is about. It's lovely and still very overcast and diffused lighting and um, it's just nice for taking photographs now I've got a, a table set up outside and it did have a lot of branches sticking out of it now the table's a bit old and in the summertime they're fine for sitting on but when they're wet they're all covered in like a green a green algae and they're a bit slimy so we put some bird food on there we haven't got our bird feeders up um, if you, I suggest if you like putting your bird feeders up and you're away, not to put them up and just put some bird seed on the floor and on po fence posts or something like that. There's a really bad strain of bird flu travelling around the country at the moment, and it's giving our bird life a right good, uh, uh, right good hiding at the moment. Bad time. Lots of swans and other big waterfowls have all uh, have all passed away, sadly. So we're uh, doing our best not to spread that about. Uh, we're doing a cracking job on spreading COVID about, so at least we can do a little bit for the birds, eh? Anyway, I thought I'd just catch up and show you what happened next. Um, now, I'll just let it speak for itself. I've been taking some bird photographs of the local bird life, a few bits and pieces, so I'll stick them on the end of the video. And I hope you like them. And it was just a little video just to catch up, say hi for the new year. And uh, if you haven't seen my channel already, I'm JP. And basically, what we do is wildlife photography and filming and motorhome travel. Um, yeah, got a few different ideas for the new year. We're going to be doing a lot of travelling away. We've got a new edition coming in a couple of months time that we were supposed to get last September regular viewers of the show will be uh, will keep thinking what's he keep going on about something new coming all the time anyway it's been put back about four or five times already but we've got a positive date for this new thing we're getting on the uh, 17th of February it turns up and then we shall collect it on the 1st of March so that'll be exciting Anyway, that's enough of my rambling on. I'm boring you. Have a little look at what happened next. I hope you like it. I hope you like the bird... The bird pictures. <laughs> all, the all the pigeons and the... Yeah, look. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Look at that. Anyway, I'll show you what happened when they first turned up. See you later. Stay safe and stay sane, eh? Hello. Right, got a load of this. We're in set homes and uh, just grabbed Sammy's phone because it's much better than mine. And uh, I thought we'd show you this. Look. So what we've got is a small group of fellow bucks. I mean, this one here, hello, mate. I could literally reach my hand out and touch that boy. Just taking some shots of some local birds, which I'll put up at the end of this video, but I thought I'd introduce you to this fella. Look at them antlers. This is a fellow buck. And the antlers are known as palmate antlers on these because of the palm shaped, or the flat palm shaped bits at the top. But he's handsome. I don't know if you can see over the back. 
There's another one. I suppose there's about three or four here. But he's beautiful. Wee! Screw just scared him. Just zoom in a bit. He's just nibbling at some bird food that was on the table. Now, we're not putting any bird feeders up because there's a real bad uh, bird flu travelling up and down the country at the moment. So, I suggest if you do like to travel away and take bird feeders as we do, just put some bird food on the floor. Whoa, let's screw there. Look, he didn't like him. Just put some bird food on the floor for him. And we put some peanuts and some bird seed out and a bit of milk, some dried mealworms. And we've had nut etches, cold tits, blue tits, grey tits. Coming to the feeding station. And rather than have them land on a dirty old table, I've put some branches in. So I'll show you the shots next. And you'll see just how much nicer they are than just plain old standing on a table eating some bird seed. It's a little trick you can do in your own back garden, rigging up a feeding station and putting some twigs in. <laughs> this old boy's this old boy's butchering the table. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. That's a beautiful animal. And these are not native deer. Now, supposedly brought over by the Normans, but I would suggest the Romans also brought them over back in the day, but kept them, kept them caged up. And I was brought to these great forests, so that the royalty to hunt them on horseback and with dogs, with their bows. And then they're naturalised. How cool was that, eh? Thank you.